All right, here we go. Chapter three, Falcon Flight. Oh wow, it already loaded? That's impressive. Led by the evil Darth Vader, Imperial forces have overrun the rebel base on the ice planet Hoth. Having bravely stalled the enemy advance, Luke Skywalker has made his escape by X-Wing fighter. And as the last rebel transports lift off from the planet, Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon engages the Imperial ships above. Here we go. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I love how, like, out of scale everything is, where you notice the, uh, the knobs on the pieces on the Star Destroyers are huge compared to the Millennium Falcon's pieces. I always found that funny. Like, look at this. <laughs> I get that most of them are, like, uh, modeled after actual Lego sets. Like, the Star Destroyers, definitely. And I don't, I don't think I owned the Star Destroyer. I don't, I don't, I don't own any Star Destroyer set, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and they release a Millennium Falcon set, like, every, like, what, three years? No, two years, now that I think about it. Every other year they release a new Millennium Falcon. And, uh, I don't own a single one. Yeah. Now, back, yeah, back in the day, I didn't, re we didn't really buy any expensive Lego sets. Like, I previously mentioned the, uh, 2009 Battle of Endor set. Um... Yeah, it was probably the most expensive set I ever owned in terms of LEGO Star Wars sets. At least back then. I think to this day, yeah, it might still be the most expensive. Haven't gotten too many LEGO Star Wars sets recently. Um, and so yeah, all you do is just destroy those turrets, and you move on as we get chased by TIE Fighters. Oh, there's that iconic shot. And here we go, we're in the asteroid fields now. And this is basically the rest of the level where we go around this asteroid field and destroy asteroids to get some uh, pink torpedoes. Yeah, these again! Um... And so, yeah, the Millennium Falcon's only able to carry three, like the X-Wing. However, the Millennium Falcon's cool ability is that um, it doesn't just shoot straight forward. It also shoots all... It also automatically aims to TIE Fighters all around you. How cool is that? And it's an ability that's exclusive to the Millennium Falcon. So, you, you might... for. For any sections in the game that have a lot of TIE Fighters, you might want to use the Millennium Falcon. Maybe. And we got a mini kit. How cool is that? And I don't think there's too many studs to get in this level. We're, uh, 23,000 and... We're... I don't think we're halfway, are we? No, we're not, but we're about to be here in a bit. May as well get some of the uh, other studs, yeah, like like these. And now we're about halfway, so I believe the true Jedi amount probably equals to about uh, fifty thousand, probably somewhere around there. And so, let's, uh, get into more of the exact same thing. Yeah. This level's also pretty straightforward, like Rebel Attack, to where it's basically just multiple sections of doing the exact same thing. Just going up to walls, uh, shooting torpedoes at targets, and then advancing. Yeah. <laughs> Not much else, really. Yeah, I was never really a fan of these ship levels. Whenever I whenever I played them in casual playthroughs of this, I would kind of dread them. Uh, 
By kind of, I mean always. I would always dread them because the on foot levels are way more interesting in my opinion. And Empire Strikes Back has two of them, unlike um, the other um, episodes. But hey, LEGO Star Wars 2 definitely has in more interesting ship levels than uh, LEGO Star Wars the video game. Which has, what, that pod race, the gunship level, and the battle over Coruscant. Which, yeah, those ones, I'll be honest, aren't all that interesting. Especially gameplay-wise, because they're literally just move around, shoot. In this one, you actually do some more stuff. Like, not only do you shoot down TIE Fighters, but you also actually have a goal. You don't just uh, get dragged around by the camera and just not die. There's definitely a lot more complexity to these. I may as well use my torpedoes on those over there, because all they do is give you studs. And we might need studs if we're going to get true Jedi. Oh my god. Yeah, and while playing LEGO Star Wars a video game, I complained about how bad the lighting is and how dark it can be in some places. Yeah, this game isn't much better, honestly. I mean, it's better, but in some case, it, is, it, it isn't by much. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna get to be quiet yet, because we're gonna get some of the studs, so that we can get that true Jedi, baby. Wow, just a single blue stud. Oh, never mind, quite a few studs, okay. Maybe that was worth it after all. And this one might uh, make their True Jedi status complete. There we go. We got True Jedi. So it was just 50,000. Okay. Right, let's move on. Oh, no. Yeah, I forgot. If you uh, press the jump button in a certain direction on the control stick in a ship level, you can do... Um, Hold on. You can do some cool tricks. Most of the time, they're completely pointless, but they look cool, so... Boom. Uh, if you just press A, you do a little uh, somersault there. And if you flick the control stick in the opposite direction you're facing, you do a little 180. And this one makes things a little more interesting, as now you are um, shooting at moving targets rather than stationary ones. They, they really got us this time. Eh. Honestly, though, uh, these targets are a bit hard to shoot. Or hard to, uh, hard to reach sometimes, so... They definitely got us here. And... Ah, oh, what? Uh, how did that not count? However, at the same time, the whole thing can just be a waiting game sometimes, as you just wait for the next target to appear. Yeah, they're pr they are pretty scattered out, so you you're definitely going to have to wait a while just to get to your next target. Like, come on. This is a kid's game, right? I don't think kids have... Uh, this much patience. Oh, there we go. Finally, got the next one. I mean, then again, this game is rated E10. So, who knows. You know, unlike LEGO Star Wars the Video Game, which just had a normal E rating, probably because the game came out before the E10 rating was even a thing. So, uh... Oh. 
Kind of feel bad for 3PO there. It's being dragged around. Okay, how does that even work? Unless we, you know, are purpose... Oh, we're purposefully being, uh... Stressed, or, like, stuck onto there. Okay. And look who it is! It's none other than, than Boba Fett on his Slave 1. Alright, so that's that level. And we got the Millennium Falcon. What do you know? I forgot to mention in that level, uh, if a second player joins, they play as just an X-Wing. So, there you go. What? I can't see the pieces at all. <laughs> and, yeah, we got two more gold bricks. And let's continue.